What's up guys? So these are literally surreal moments for me. The reason that I say surreal moments is I just picked up a 2008 Audi S4 Avant. I've been an Audi head my whole life. I just hate them. Audi people know what I'm talking about. The maintenance costs on these things are absolutely ridiculous. And they break down every 10,000 miles. It's just what happens. It's just always gonna be like that, but we all love them. It is what it is. Um, but surreal because this is a dream car, man. Um, I just drove out to Manhattan Beach. Uh, a guy listed it and I flew out the door. Um, I'm gonna try to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna clip in another video in a little bit cause it's dark right now and I'm about to take off. I'll get it some in the light. Stock, 100%. So this is why I picked it up. Guys, like this stuff is crazy um, because I'm a car enthusiast, right? So I've never owned so many of my dream cars ever in my life and uh, it's kind of a special feeling like i've never been able to afford things like this um i always liked them i always wanted a freaking v8 uh power wagon <laughs> i always wanted a v8 uh audi wagon um for a long time and uh to be inside one right now it's, it's crazy man like I'm so thankful to be doing what I'm doing um, in this business and just like hustling my ass off to just keep flipping through cars, buying solid cars, uh, inspecting them correctly, being a fan of the platform. Um, all this stuff is super important to me as I grow the business. Um, I wanna be known for the spot that has clean enthusiast cars that way whenever you're looking for something you know i have something special in my lot uh something you might like and you know we'll get the deals done and they're always going to be clean clean title no accidents so uh like i said these moments are special literal dream car i'm in right now i know it's, most people aren't going to understand it but it's an audi it's the avant it's a v8 it sounds crazy and it's great on gas i know it's not good on gas it's terrible on gas uh but uh it's pretty cool so um that's where i'm at i don't really know what to say it's really cool to be inside something like this um so could i afford one before uh maybe but i couldn't afford the maintenance man i can't i can't own a car like this because the maintenance costs are are pretty high and i keep it real the people that uh buy the certain particular cars that i sell they already know what's going on um they understand that you know these cars have higher maintenance costs and things like that so i'm gonna leave the video right there um if you guys like what you're hearing or if you don't don't subscribe or anything like that but when you subscribe or hit the like button what happens is people that share same interests like me and you then they get notified that you know there's a uh, you know a guy that has a car dealer that is selling enthusiast cars how we started uh people might like the day in the life type stuff so it really helps a lot when you guys subscribe and you like some of this stuff um but all right i'm gonna leave it there i gotta drive home it's late in the night and uh i'm gonna smash a little bit hopefully this thing doesn't break hey what's up guys you already know new car new day i don't know if you can see that but let me show this thing to you man you don't want to be seeing my face little audi s4 wagon a little avant man super super lucky to pick this thing up um they're not very common at all um and man, it runs good. Hey guys, so this is the morning after I pick up the Audi S4 Avant. 
Um, I don't even know what I said in my previous video when I picked it up, but it's a literal dream car. And when I say literal dream car, I've been an Audi head. I've loved Audis for a long time. Uh, a large portion of my young life was dedicated to uh, Audis. I owned a, uh, I owned two, but the one that I'm referring to was a B6. So that it was a 2004. Um, it happened to be a base model, uh, but after I owned it for about, I don't know, five years, um, I had a, a Ottinger front end on it. I think that's how you say it. Uh, ABT side skirts, ABT rear. I had a dual exhaust going out the back. Uh, it was dumped. Back then everyone was doing 18 inch wheels. I put 19 inch wheels on it. Um, I had the first CSL style trunk on the rear of the car. Uh, if you don't know what the CSL style trunk is, uh, look into BMW, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I had a carbon fiber trunk CSL style on the uh, Audi A4 um, and uh, front Bowser hood. The car was silver, the hood was silver carbon. Man, so like I've been fucking Audi head for a long time, like I said. Uh, so to actually be inside an S4 Avant right now, um, and it's a B7, that's pretty crazy to me, man. Um, I've always wanted one of these V8 grocery getters all day. Uh, it's in good shape. That looks worse than it is. I don't know why, but we'll fix that. Um, but as far as this thing goes, um, it's freaking clean. Um, of course, I got to clean it up and things like that, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. I love the sound that the exhaust note makes on this thing. It's like second to none. Um, I wish I can keep it, but I'm not in the business of keeping cars, so I get to toy around with it for about a week, uh, get it retail ready, fix all the uh, small little imperfections I need to get uh, attended to, and then put it up for sale. Um, this one is gonna be kind of crazy for me to sell because I'm not gonna want to sell it, but it is what it is. So we'll see how that all goes. Uh, right now we're visiting my buddy uh, Paul at the smog shop and we're gonna get this thing all, all smogged up and uh, ready to go. And then remember, this is day one of me owning it. Check out the, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the windows, but the uh, tint is really bad. So the lady that owned this uh, before, she was an older lady and she had uh, two big dogs and I guess she let them in here all the time. The weird thing is that there's no hair in here so she must have had it cleaned uh, relatively recently. Um, but the tint is tore up. So I have an appointment for tint that's getting done today. I have an appointment to get it detailed very, very soon. And uh, that's pretty much it. Then we're listing this thing back up for sale. It doesn't need anything else. It's in great condition. Uh, the engine runs great. Everything's been maintained. And I have a ton of documents on this car. Um, as far as uh, the engine mounts were done, um, the all the radiator hoses are all done. All the cooling hoses. Uh, has speed sensor has been done. Um, timing chain and guides have been done. So it's been very well maintained and it came with all the uh, paperwork for it. So um, this is gonna be a great car for someone that purchases it. Uh, so I can't wait to get this out and get it all done and uh, you know clean it all up and see what it looks like once we're done. So, but that's it for now. I'll keep them uh, clipped in and uh, I'll show you the next videos as they come. So. What are we doing today? So today's day one of me owning it. Um, I'm taking it right this second to go get smog. The car has no check engine lights. It runs like a dream. It's great. Uh, so we're gonna go visit uh, Paul. We're gonna go get this smog up. Um, once uh, I get this smog, I'm going to the office and I call uh, I call the mobile um, tint guy to remove the tint and slap new tint on. I've never used this guy before, so hopefully he's good. Um, 
I've been leaning a little bit towards the uh, mobile side on certain things like tint I don't mind if it's mobile um, so just to make it a lot easier for me to uh, get things done I'd have to drive around a ton so I'm excited let's go uh, visit Paul I wanted to show you guys really quick the interior this is before I clean anything so when I say I literally lucked out I literally lucked out. How we liking that, guys? <laughs> All right, guys, so this is exactly how I picked up this car. I just picked it up last night. So you can see how clean it is. Right? I'll show you the couple imperfections that it has. So right here on the trunk, it's got a little bit of a dent, never been resprayed, all original paint. As far as exterior goes, the only other thing which I will get addressed is that right there. I can fix that myself. All right, as far as the interior goes, you guys can check this out. Again, I haven't cleaned anything. This is the way I picked it up. Everything in good shape. You can see, let me show you the tent. You see that? So we're gonna get that all replaced, but guess what? Everything else is good. All right, guys, you're gonna get a little bit of a rant right now from me. So I picked up the S4, right? Last night, I'm all about my timeliness. You guys already know, I talked about that in previous videos. Maybe in this one I clipped it, I don't even know. But timeliness is so important. I picked it up last night. I called the tent guy, he's like, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow morning, 11.30. I told him, all right, for sure, I've never used them, he's a mobile guy, um, but he was super happy, like, very humble that I called him. Uh, sounded like he needed the work, you know? I don't mind helping people out, I'll help him out all the time. But then, you know, 11 o'clock comes around, and then, you know, I don't hear much, 11:15 comes around i don't hear nothing no text message no call he's on his way i told him last night before you come make sure you text me that you're on your way because at that point i know like how much time i'm gonna waste if this guy doesn't show up right so it's 11:25. i message this guy if he's not here by 11:30, like he previously stated he would be that i'm not interested anymore So that's exactly what I did. I messaged, said that I wasn't interested anymore. And guess who called me right away? Oh, I'll offer you a discount. Uh, I'm so sorry that, you know what? Don't have time wasted. You wasted two hours of my morning. I'm not interested in dealing with you again. Thank you so much uh, for everything. Um, but 
it's just not gonna work out between me and you. So relationships are built and they're lost real quick. And uh, you know what? I don't have time to deal with people like that. Um, you either take it serious or you don't. You ruined probably three hours of my day this morning uh, waiting for you. I took care of small things, whatever. But otherwise, I would have had it at a shop that I typically go to because he's dealt with a lot of cars for me. But, you know, he's 30 minutes away. I'm in Santa Fe Springs right now. He's in Long Beach. Usually, I go to him no matter what. But this guy was mobile. I was trying to figure, you know, things out just to make it quicker for me did not work out not even in the slightest bit but that's cool i'm in the s4 i'm happy to be driving this thing uh, it puts a smile on my face so if that's one thing man uh keep your word whatever you do keep your word uh at the bare minimum keep communication open if you would have kept communication open guess what no problem man take care of whatever you just had to do thanks for calling me i'll see you in an extra 30 minutes or whatever it may have been right but that didn't work out so I'm rolling out, getting this tint done, and I'm back out. I might even just remove it uh, just for cost savings factor, but I don't know. I gotta sit down and really like tally things up, uh, all the numbers on this car to make sure that I'll be profitable at the end of the day. But uh, so that's what just happened. That's the rant. I hate people. Uh, I just don't like people that don't work hard and uh, say, uh, they're gonna do something and they don't come through with it. It's, it's that plain and simple for me, black and white. You say you're supposed to be here at this time, you're not here, me and you don't need to transact anymore from here on out. So that's the way it works. Let's see if we can uh, run it. You don't want no sauce? Oh man, guys, so nothing's going my way today. Um, so I went back to the tent guy and he was super packed. He's gonna be busy for the next few days. Um, so I just got back home and uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be removing the tent myself because it's already 2 p.m. and I've gotten zero work done, literally nothing except running around all morning. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go grab a six pack, grab a few beers, and I'm gonna get something done today, even if it's just tent, but I'm gonna be doing it for the next few hours, so I might as well enjoy myself, put on some music, grab a brew, and go to town, because I can't waste uh, my days. I just, I can't waste my days, that's not what I do. So, I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get that finished, I'm gonna get that done, and uh, I'll show you the before and after, I guess. I don't know if you're able to hear that, but hopefully you were. That's what the car sounds like. It sounds so much better in person. I gotta do something about this exhaust if I decide to keep this car. You know what, guys? I wasn't gonna make this video, but I decided, you know what? I have all the tools. I just had to pick up a couple of these. I picked up gloves so that I don't burn my hands uh, when I'm using the, the steamer. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off the tin. So we're gonna remove the tin on this. These are the tools I'm using. Have I done it before? Yes. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but I remember it sucks and I've never done it with the steamer before. So if it makes it any easier, let's figure it out. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna prime the system. This isn't anything special, just something I have for my clothes. So we're turning it on right now um, and then we're getting to this. Right so here. the actual objective is to start from that edge right there just in case so that edge right there we're gonna peel it up off of there we're gonna use the steamer to get that hot therefore the stickiness of the tent won't be left behind so we're gonna try that out Wow.
All right, so first impression right now, when I heated this up and I pulled it, all the residues stayed behind. So, so far this technique sucks. All right, so it's still terrible. It's not good. All the stuff stayed on. Yeah. So, so far what's happening is that technique was terrible. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting steam right against all the sticky, because everything right there is sticky and um, it's quite a bit easier when it's hot to uh, remove all the glue that's left behind. So that's what I'm doing now. All right guys, so as you can see right here, it's working really well. So what I'm doing is I'm heating up the surface and just hitting the entire window. It's doing good. All right guys, so as you can see, this is the sticky stuff. There's some sticky stuff on this area also. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but a little bit's on there. Most of it is already off though. So uh, you can see a lot of it is on the uh, X-Acto knife and uh, yeah. All right guys, so the absolute verdict on this is using the steamer on the goop left behind. Just rip the tent right off, um, steam it. It comes off in seconds and then use your blade or razor to take off the rest. Try to get something with a handle like this. Um, that way it's not so straining on your fingertips. All right guys, as far as level of difficultness, um, two. Level of annoyance, 10 for sure. Uh, I've done tint before, I remember doing tint. I knew it sucked. It's actually not as bad as my previous times with the steamer, the way I'm doing it. I'm gonna try the, um, I'm gonna try doing the, uh, the other windows slightly different. So we'll see. All right, so I saw a video earlier today when I was thinking about doing this where the guy heated the uh, outside and then he did the inside so we'll see what happens because this last time the entire thing was glued the entire window it wasn't that hard to, to do but so what did we do this time I steamed all the outside. I steamed the inside like really, really well on this corner area on the outside and the inside. I grabbed the razor, popped it. And the only thing it does, so this is all glue, the entire window right now. This part right here just fogged up, but it's a lot of glue right there, but there's glue everywhere. So uh, I'm gonna remove all that now. So second attempt failed. All right, so window number two. Um, the easiest way that I've done it now is using my left hand to uh, warm up the window. I've done most of it already, but I just want you to know. So I'm using my left hand just like this with the steamer and getting it just warm. And then after that, it, uh, it works out quite a bit better once you're doing it for a while it gets easier you just follow the uh, razor so right here you can see all the goop coming off all right guys, so we remove the tent from the two front windows. As you can see, wasn't too bad. Time to do the dark tent back here. Let me show you why we're doing this. Oh, that's a perfect video for you guys to see why it is that I'm doing what I'm doing. It's really bad, man. So you see all those scratches, right? But the interior, none. It's absolutely crazy. Like. 
I have all my stuff in here, but nothing is tore up, like nothing. ¿Qué dice? Aquí puedo parquear. The homie, the detailer came. Boom, he just pulled up. He's gonna detail the car, he's gonna start today. Oh man, Jose just left. I forgot to uh, videotape him. Jose's my detailer. I did uh, three windows and then it was just a slow day here in Southern California because it rained and he came and did the rest of my windows. I didn't want to do the rear hatch because it has the defroster so I didn't want to mess the entire thing up and uh, he happened to be in the area. He came down from Orange County and check it out. So we're fish bowling. You saw what it looked like before. I'll get a better video tomorrow in the morning.